we promote love. We promote love. We are here to promote love. Hi, I am Yasis. And I'm here today because there are so many things that need to be addressed. But let's start off at a basic place. Let's start off with because I'm spiritual doesn't mean. It's so many people who get this statement so misunderstood. Because I'm spiritual don't mean that I'm not going to state facts. Because I'm spiritual does not mean I cannot voice my opinion. Because I'm spiritual does not mean that I'm going to let you get away with saying things that's not of God. And things that of God love, peace, hope, smile, your vibration that you put into this universe is exactly what you're going to get out of this universe. My soul make it boast in the Lord. Let the humble hear and be glad. Psalms 34 2. That means in whatever and however you talk, if you are about God, if you are about what he does, if you're about spreading his word, then boast in the Lord. Boast in him and let everyone know he is faithful, he is loving, and he is caring. I will continue to boast in my God and for all who feels like I can't do this battle right now. This battle is not for me. I am here for you. <laughs> if you have any type of feeling about this, leave leave the, the message in the little comment section and we will address it. Let me start once again. I am Yasis and this is a beautiful day. We are here to spread nothing but love and joy, which represents God our Father. Have lately you've been experiencing things on a whole nother level? Have you been looking around and saying, what in the world? Are you looking at people coming and you're saying, is something going on that I'm not used to? Well, if you're doing that, you're probably being awakened. See the birds when they get, you're probably being awakened. When you are awake, you see so many things out of the box. You yourself has been pulled out of the box. And now you can look from a different expat because you were born again in the blood of Jesus Christ. You are God's children. So don't, don't feel as though you don't have protection because you do. Don't feel as God will leave your side because he won't. Love and cherish and be grateful for everything that you have right now. You know, I've been to many different countries. 
many different countries. And, um, well, I can't say that it has been all business. No, when I went to these different countries, I was in the work. I was working. Um, I've been to Dubai, which is full of that. Mm, 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 mm. And I have been to Africa, where where they wanted was white shirts, white socks, anything white, and cotton, and big lighters. I don't know what's going on about the big lighters, but big lighters. So when people sit there and they want to judge me, oh you never, um, oh this didn't. I am here to tell you guys that I am here through the blood of Jesus Christ. I'm in this place. I'm right before you because of Jehovah, because of Jesus Christ. I was once told that I wouldn't walk, talk, or do the things that I'm sitting here doing as we presently speak but through the blood of Christ I'm here I can do nothing but give Jehovah all praise all praise all the praise because without him my family would not be good because without him I would not be good because not with him I am able to reach some people who may not know this we are being consumed by dark things by dark people by all darkness I was once consumed with everything dark my trials and tribulations go back so far and at the end of the day the person that helped me get through it the person who has been by my side the person who has provided all I will continue to stay faithful to and that's Jehovah Yahweh God, love, my loves, my loves, my loves. Don't get discouraged by the dark. Don't you dare get discouraged by the dark. But if you can carefully obey his voice and do all that I say, then I will be an enemy to your enemies and adversity to you. He continuously tells you that he has your back. It don't matter what situation. He has your back. And whomever come against you, guess who they have to go through first? God. They have to go through God first. Have you ever played cards? And um, you say, well, what you got? I'm not going to tell you what I got, what you got. Well, I got this. Well, I got this. Well, I got this. Well, well, I got this. 
people will try to bluff their way to you about Jehovah. Fear not, for once again, whomever comes against you has to go through God first. I don't know how many times I can say that. So speak, speak, speak whatever you need to speak. But in the mighty name of Jesus, whatever you do, do it in the mighty name of Jesus. Don't come over here because I'm spiritual and think that I'm going to let you get away with disrespect, demeaning, and foulness. The Lord has made me better than that. Now, before old Jen, old Jen would have took that. You're right. I would have took it. But now, I have no problem speaking out what is the truth in the mighty name of Jesus. Because you are disciplined, because you've made sacrifices, should you give that earning to someone that's going to use it for dark intentions? Think about that. Everything that you have sacrificed, stay disciplined for. Will you turn around and give somebody what you have sacrificed? And you know they play with the dark. Those decisions definitely are up to you and whatever you do in your life remember that's between you and God nobody should ask you uh well what you talk about with God none of your damn business dog looked at me like what no one needs to know what how when where your relationship with God is especially if you're not a pastor a deacon uh, uh, or any especially no matter what your relationship with your father is your relationship with your father I don't explain my relationship with God I know it's Jehovah I know it's the light I know he is powerful I know that people tremble when they hear him I know people move when they hear him I know that people's like oh how can you do all this how can you do all this through Christ Jesus, through my brother who sacrificed himself. He sacrificed himself for all of us. Not for just black or for just white or purple or green or whatever you want to say. He did not sacrifice just for anybody he sacrificed for all of his brothers and his sisters and his and God sacrificed his only son when was the last time you sacrificed one of your kids did did a, a feeling come past you that made you want to say um well I'm going to take little Janie over there to the to the spot and I'm a you know the Lord said leave up the God has not asked you 
to do any of that because he did it because of mercy and grace. As you're talking, as you're, you're, you're doing different things, as you're going through your travel, trials and tribulations, as you see people going through their trials and tribulations, do you even remember your trials and tribulations? Ooh, what do you even remember your trials and t tribulations? Let me tell you, most of us on here probably are um, my age. I'm 20. I'm 20. Please. Um, and when we went through our trials and tribulations... We probably made it through with barely anything. Barely anything. But now you see other people going through their trials and tribulation. And the first thing you want to say is, oh, wait a minute, let me, let me grab you. Let me, oh, wait, hold on, what's going on? You try to make their ride as, as comfortable as you possibly can could can and everything else stop i'm sorry y'all my dog is crazy we are the ones whom are givers we are the people who get along with the bare minimum let god Deal with people as he sees fit. Stop making decisions that are not your business. When something happens or some something something goes on, you should automatically go into prayer for whomever you see. In despair for whatever situation you're seeing in despair while I was active duty I thought I had it all figured out <laughs> I thought I had it all figured out I was doing all the wrong things at the right time I was so full of darkness. I was so full of just me, 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 me. When you can fall out of that me situation, then you know that you are starting your waking process. I had put... um job, God, family, and myself in, in that order, in that order. I was so busy trying to prove my loyalty, if you may, to my country. Everybody might not have, oh, oh, you went to the military, oh, you went to the military, oh, you did the military. Yes, <laughs> yes. I am ashamed of a lot of things that I did while I was active duty because we walked around with the mentality mentality work hard play harder I was selling my soul sinning on an hourly basis doing what pleasured my body and not my soul
it took for the Lord to show me that I wasn't right. It took, and I heard it loud and clear. I'm not going to even lie to you guys. I, I, I heard it loud and clear. He told me to sit down. Oh, I couldn't just sit down. If everybody know me, anybody know me, they go, oh, she can't sit down. I didn't listen. He set me down. And then after he set me down and I was able to move, I still didn't get it. I still didn't get it. I got up and I went right back to that dark life. Lord, Father, forgive me. I went back into a world full of chaos, full of negativity, full of nothing that was for God or about God. And for this, Father, I repent. A lot of people, they see me in they don't have a clue of my trials and my tribulations. People judge books by their color. And when people see me, oh, you you look good. You girl, you get keep on going. Keep up with the good work. I am here to tell you guys that when Jehovah finally touched me and my heart and my body and my soul, I could not believe it. Through someone like me, God had forgiven me, and He trusts me to do His work. He trusts me that I can give His word. He trusts me that I can go when I'm outside and bless other people through his holy name. I thank you, Father. I thank you, Father. I thank you, Father. Don't you ever think that our Father doesn't know what's going on. He definitely know about what's going on. He definitely know what's going on in your life. As I turned back and as I started my new journey, when I was born again, I... It changed. It changed my life. It let me see that anyone, and I mean anyone, can stand side by side and walk with God. 
don't ever believe that God won't take you. Don't ever think that God is saying, oh, well, mm, maybe, mm, I don't know. Hope they be all right. No, 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 and more no. When you go outside, now, now I can say, when I go outside, I go with the armor of God on. I know that he will protect me. I know what comes out of my mouth is facts, is love. When you see things in your life that's not of the light, then you need to call it out in the mighty name of Jesus. Call it out in the mighty name of Jesus. Call it. And in the name of Jesus, assert the will of God and continue to live that life of what God wants you to do. And that's how you live in his life. When you read through the Bible and they say, well, well, what does God want? God wants you. God wants love. God wants sympathy. God wants praise. <laughs> As I'm going to say it like this. <laughs> Sometimes we get caught up in the wrong situations. That's why you will hear me say, pick your battles. Pick your battles and pick them well. In their case, the God of this world has binded the minds of the unbeliever, unbelievers to keep them from seeing the light of the gospel, of the glory of Christ, who is the image of God. So that we are not outwitted by Satan, for we are not ignorant of his designs. Stay informed. That's one thing, excuse me, that's one thing that I did learn and I kept with me all through my military career is to stay informed. No, don't stay informed by somebody saying, well, you know, well, you know, it's on rain and after it rain, the tree's going to come up and it might bloom. You might have... stay informed to what's going on in your universe and what you need to do to continually put love out to our Father. Be aware during these times because the dark is always aware of those unwanted desires the dark is aware of anything that's ungodly and by all means you will be in a position where he will make you yearn for those things oh don't say that yes but once again Claim victory. Victory in the mighty name of Jesus. No one has to once again confirm 
or deny anything that's between you and our Father. No one should be asking you well, what, what type of relationship you ain't God have? Well, why you call him that? I call Jehovah, Yahweh, I call him daddy. People be confused. I be like, you know who my daddy is, right? They be like, John Baker. I'm like, <laughs> you right, but not that one. I'm talking about the one, the most highest one. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> If I was to tell you stories about my God, my prayer room, think that's my business. We as Christians, as spiritual, as God lovers, as love seekers, Children of God, please, please don't be ruled by fear. Hold grudges and just do negative things that will bring your vibrations down. Taking love vibrations away is the worst vibration that is put out fear worry stress anxiety these things affect your vibration these things affect your life these things affect your house. Lion lips are an abomination to the Lord, but those who deal truthfully are his light. His delight. Delight. What does that tell you? He wants you to speak. And confidence. He wants you to make people aware. Do you know in the Bible it says that God wants you to spread his word? At the end of the day, do you know what Jehovah stands for? Love. That's why when I come on, I say love. 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 At first, it was me saying, well, I want to say something people want to hear. <laughs> I can no longer do that. As of right now, I am not going to front to rut get myself all discombobulated because guess what we were all born into sin every one of us we are all sinners if you don't realize then Examine yourself. Take time. Examine yourself. 
see and just think how many times did I smile today? How many times did a frown come over my face? How many times did I let somebody get me so upset that I just had to let it go? <laughs> Examine yourself. If you need help, by all means, we are here. Secondly, surround yourself with the people and things that are of God. Start pulling the things back into the universe so that you may receive it back. Start putting things into the universe that you want to receive back. For a long time, and still now, I treat people as I would want them to treat my children. Sometimes we get, you know, about ourselves and be like, I'm, I'm good. I can do whatever. God loves me. I'm good right here. Start putting in the universe what you would like back. When was the last time somebody said, I love you? When was the last time somebody wrapped their arms around you and said, God loves you? I see your light. I see your beauty. I see everything that you're made of. Of course, that big praise, those big blessings come from God themselves. But just like the dark and the light can send messages, so can God. So when you start seeing things working for you, oh, you're lucky. Luck had nothing to do with it. It was all from God. It was from what you put out in the universe is what exactly you're getting back. I am a witness to this. Hey, I am a witness to this. I've seen it firsthand. And when I initially start, sent, start just sitting back and looking at what the universe was given, given me, I had called on God. And I was like, Father, do you see what's going on? I mean, do, uh, I mean, to the T, very specifically, do you see what's happening? And I definitely could hear, of course, you have done well. Thank you, Jehovah for your many blessings. Thank you, Jehovah, for trusting me, for blessing me, for being there for me. Make me a victor and continually claim victory. Don't forget that the Lord is always there. All you have to do is remember He is right there. Put your hands out.
take the Lord hand and let him lead you to his world where his promises are fulfilled. God is so faithful and loving and he will never leave your side. Never. As we go into these times, this day, just just dealing with situations that maybe we don't know how to deal with. Showing somebody love that never expected it. I am here to tell you that when I was born again, I was delivered from majority of my dark ways in the mighty name of Jesus. I know <clears throat> to look to my father for everything. My order now is God, family, me, and then work in the mighty name of Jesus. I have been blessed by Jehovah to live in that order, which does nothing but bring me more favor from God. I just want to leave you guys with this. God is real. Jesus Christ is real. What you put in this universe will definitely come back to you. Promote love, peace, In the mighty name of Jesus. Stop taking everything personal. What? How, how to stop taking everything personal? If you continue to take everything personal, it's going to be hard for you to move forward. It's going to be hard for you to achieve the things that you want to achieve. That's because you're holding on to something that has your vibrations very low. Of course... Of course, the dark wants to see you with low vibrations because it means that you're unable to be in a peaceful situation. You're unable to be in a loving situation when you are holding on to pain, anxiety, um, hurt, bitterness, holding a grudge. These are the things that I keep repeating over and over and over again because these things are so important. Lastly, I want to come and I just want to say thank you. Thank you for letting me be a part of you, Father. Thank you for constantly blessing me and my family, Father. Thank you for allowing me to be awakened. So therefore, 
those things that I felt I needed to hang on to, surely you have them now. I have surrendered all to you, Father, including myself. I ask that you continually be there for me. I need your love, Father. I need everything through you and the blood of Jesus. Please, if you have a testimony, if you want to share, if you have something that maybe you're saying, hey, you aren't saying it right, please, please leave it in the description box. If there's any rude from working, doing better that I can do, leave it in the description box. Why am I here with like this? Once again, I am disabled. Those words there, I never thought I would say with a smile on my face. I am disabled. And because I'm disabled, my eyes don't work together. Everything that you're looking at is pretty much been reinvented. <laughs> If anybody know me when I was younger, you know that I went walking around with no grill like this. What, 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 what? God provides. God provides. He's always provided and he always will provide. Sometimes we're in a situation where we feel like, oh my goodness, I can't. I, I don't want anybody to know that or I feel a certain way about that. I'm here to tell you today that I am housebound. I am a housebound combat veteran. That means you'll never see me outside by myself. You'll never see certain things from me. Because not only my physical injuries, but I also have a traumatic brain injury with severe PTSD. So when you're looking at me and I'm in my room, my room, hopefully my situation is going to get better outside. And Jehovah's going to let them speed up so we can start casting from outside. So you don't have to continually be in my room because once again, this is the place where I take care of my business. I am housebound once again, which means that um, I pretty much stay in my bed. <laughs> but God supplies all. I am in love with Jehovah, always have been. I want to thank you guys once again for joining me. I want to thank you guys once again for all the love. I want to thank you guys again for just being here and praying with me. Please, please join us for other channels, for other views, so therefore we can talk about some things, how they need to be talked about. I am still a learner, and I will always be a learner. Through the blood of Jesus, he will provide. 
I am Yasis, and I say I will see you guys later on. Many blessings. Love. 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 Take time. Feel the vibrations you're putting out. I love you guys. Stay beautifully blessed.